If you're still using one of these to boot your machine in the Windows, you're living in the dark ages and it's time for you to upgrade to an SSD. Welcome back to Tech215. I'm your host, Nick, and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at three budget SSDs from the likes of Samsung, Crucial, and Kingston. We have in front of us today the most popular SSD on the market right now, the Samsung Evo 860. We also have the Crucial BX500, and finally, the Kingston A400. We're gonna be benchmarking these SSDs with Crystal Disk Mark to examine the reads and writes for each one, as well as how long it takes to boot into Windows and boot into your favorite games. So let's take a look at these budget SSDs to see what the best value is for you and which one you should buy for your new computer. Let's take a look. So first up, we have the Samsung Evo 860, which in my opinion is the most popular drive of all the drives out there today. And the thing that sets this part of drive is that it has 512 megabytes of DRAM cache. That really helps speed things up when you're doing long sustained writes. And it has the highest total of total terabytes written, which means that over the longevity of the drive, you'll be able to write 150 total terabytes written. And it also is advertised to write at 550 megabytes a second and read at 530 megabytes a second. So next up is the Kingston A400, which is a fantastic drive. But the reason these drives are so cheap is because they don't have any DRAM cache like the Samsung. It has 80 total terabytes written over the lifetime of the drive and has an advertised speed of 500 megabytes written, but has only 350 megabytes read per second. And finally, we have the Crucial BX500. This drive as well does not have any DRAM cache and also has 80 total terabytes written over the lifetime of the drive, but it has a little bit higher specs than the Kingston, which is 540 megabytes read per second and 500 megabytes write per second. All of these drives are fantastic drives. So when we get into the Crystal Disk Mark, you can see that all the graphs are pretty similar in terms of performance, but I think the DRAM cache is what really differentiates the Samsung drive from the rest of them. As you guys can see from the bar graphs, the Samsung really does pull away in some of those other categories, which really makes this drive the best. But again, you are gonna pay about 35 to 40% more for the Samsung drive over the Kingston and the Crucial. So I wanted to run some real world tests and what we did was we installed each drive and booted it from cold into my 6700K system and the Samsung did end up winning this, but it wasn't by much. Each drive booted in about 31 seconds, ultra quick boot times and that's what makes SSDs over hard drives just so much better. They boot super fast and in laptops I think they boot even faster. And since it's Super Bowl Sunday, I wanted to see how fast a game could boot, so we picked Madden 20. I know a lot of PC gamers don't really play football games, but this is one of my favorite games. The Kingston drive came out on top, but only by about a second. All these drives perform really well when it comes to launching games and once you're in the game. And then finally, I just wanted to show you guys the evolution of the hard drive to the SSD. And as you guys can see, the older drives are big and bulky. They came in 3.5 inch. And then as laptops grew more in popularity, they shrunk it down to 2.5 inches and made them thinner. But then we got the SSD and it's relatively the same form factor. They're just a lot lighter. But finally, we have the M.2 drive, and this is my daily driver, the Corsair MP510, which is an NVMe drive, which is substantially faster, but they're great because they slide right into the motherboard, and there's no cables, so they look a lot better. All right, guys, so it's conclusion time, and after benchmarking all three of these SSDs, once again, the Samsung Evo 860, the Kingston A400, and the Crucial BX500, this is my opinion. If you're simply gaming and doing office related stuff, spend your money on the lesser drives because you're not really gonna notice much of a difference and you could spend your money on something like a better video card and a better CPU. But now if you're a professional and you're doing photo editing and video editing, you will notice a difference because of that low profile DDR4 memory that comes with the Samsung Evo 860. You will notice a huge difference when doing long sustained writes and moving bigger files over. Also, the Samsung Evo comes with the best software in the business, the Samsung Magician software. I think it's fabulous for cloning drives and doing backups. 
But again, if you're simply gaming, spend your money on a cheaper drive. There's tons of drives out there besides the Kingston and the Crucial Drive, and I think they all give you great value. I have noticed in the last couple of weeks that SSDs are going up a little bit in price, but that could just be a fluke. I don't think it's gonna be a trend because right now SSDs are at an all time low. But when I bought these drives about a month ago, I got them for about four to five dollars cheaper on Newegg and Amazon. And I listed the links in the description below for Newegg and Amazon for all three of these drives. I think all three drives are great, but the Samsung is a little bit better because of that DRAM cache. But that about wraps it up for me today, guys. Be sure to like, be sure to comment, and subscribe to the channel for more tech related content. I will be doing a full review on the brand new Ryzen 5 1600 AF later in the week, and I'm so pumped. I haven't even opened up the box yet. I'm gonna be doing that on the channel and giving you guys the skinny and low down on everything about that chip. But happy Super Bowl Sunday. I hope you guys like this video. I should be back in a few days with more tech content, so stay tuned. Peace.